Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And we are back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Here, we have a free energy patent. The patent number is 3,890,548. The name of the patent is Pulsed Capacitor Discharge Electric Engine Invented by Edwin Gray. This is a radiant motor that uses the collapsing field energy to recharge its own batteries. According to the patent, the inventor was able to run a 100 horsepower engine with only two car batteries. At the same time, he was charging two additional batteries with the collapsing field energy and the batteries got switched out every 30 minutes with the switch while driving. Originally, two batteries could give him only about 50 miles of driving range, but with recharging, he was able to drive the car for 500 miles. According to the inventor, 99% of the energy of each pulse was recycled and reused and only 1% of the energy was used up. This prolonged the driving time from originally 30 minutes for up to 10 hours. We made a chart for you to better understand how this invention works. If one charge can give you a 60 mile range and the car travels at 60 miles per hour, that means that the car covers one mile per minute. The chart is made assuming on 90% recovery and not a 99%. Without recharging, you get 60 mile range. With recharging, you get 450 mile range. You get seven and a half hours driving time. We made a nice drawing for you guys to help you understand better. In the future, we will attempt building this version of the motor. There is three electromagnets on the rotor. There's nine electromagnets in the stator. Nine individual charging circuits are required. The electromagnets are energized in pairs. Three pairs of two electromagnets each. The discharge current discharges through both electromagnets at the same time. While three of the pairs are being discharged, the other two pairs of the electromagnets are having their capacitors being recharged. The rotor moves forward and lines up with the next electromagnet and the process is repeated. For this experiment, we used a 12 volt battery, a pulse generator, a transistor, a car ignition coil, a 3000 volt high voltage capacitor, a microwave oven diet, and a discharge gap. One thing to point out is that these are two identical car ignition coils. We took out the casing and added our own primary. It's made of a thicker conductor and many more turns on the primary to reduce the voltage from 30k down to 3000 volts to charge the capacitor. The frequency is set to 500 pulses per second. Here, we have a microwave oven primary coil that weighs 1.5 pounds. Here, we have a second one that weighs 1 pound. We will do two experiments. First, we will place it on top of the coil without the two ends of the coil being connected. The coil will not move.
Now, we will repeat the experiment with the two ends of the coil being connected. Now watch what happens this time. Both coils would be energized and repel each other through induction in Lenz's law. Here, we have an aluminum disc that we will repeat the experiment with. Here, we have a heavy copper disc that we will repeat the experiment with. We adjusted a spark gap to reduce the power to the coil. This time I will hold the plate with my hand. I will be able to feel the force of the repulsion. It feels like a hammer hitting the bottom of the copper plate. This time, we are energized both coils at the same time in opposing mode. The coil up on top will jump four feet in the air. I will not attempt to catch the coil this time. We will use the bottom coil as a primary and the top coil as a secondary. This time we will not use the energy to do mechanical work and repel the magnets, rather we will power a resistive load. Here, we have 110 volt, 40 watt incandescent light bulb. Here, we have a 300 watt incandescent light bulb that uses a lot of electricity. Here, we added a second high voltage diet. We'll use the collapsing field energy from the coil to power it. This is how the inventor was able to recharge the batteries to his electric car. Now, we will do this one more time in the dark. We adjusted the spark gap to reduce the current so the light bulb doesn't burn out. This time we removed the coil altogether and we are only using the energy from the capacitor to power the light bulb. The pulses are at 3000 volts DC and 300 milliamps. Do not attempt these experiments if you are not familiar with electronics. The original invention, the inventor used around 200 watts of electrical energy for each individual charging circuit. We are only using 20 watts of electrical energy to do the experiments. However, the energy stored in each pulse is 1000 watts. We will show you the difference when the energy run through the coil and without the coil. I have adult supervision. Do not do these experiments at home if you are not familiar with electronics. One thing to remember when using a high voltage diet, energy is left stored in the capacitor. Even after the battery has been removed from the circuit, we use a screwdriver to manually discharge the energy before we do any adjusting on the coils. Thanks for watching everyone, 
and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.